Uh, welcome to your reading for the month of June. I've uh, pre-shuffled your cards and laid them out here in one row. We have the Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight, the Strength card, and Four of Wands. So, you're starting the month of June here with um, having to take a decision. You're torn between uh, two truths here with the Two of Swords. Uh, you may not communicate this to anyone. It's just an internal process where you are uh, retracting inside of yourself, um, going to this high remote place where you can see uh, the battlefield from above because you need to take a decision. In classical tarot, these, um, these swords are twisted uh, like so. Um, and the person is blindfolded, so they don't want to see uh, things as to let their mind take over and uh, choose a good decision. Uh, not letting oneself being influenced by uh, the form of a situation. Um, it ties into the justice card in a way because justice as a statue, you know, that it's being blindfolded because it doesn't want to judge upon the form of something. It needs to take a decision with uh, the sharp edge of the mind. Now, you're an air sign and um, your mind is, um, is uh, your superpower. Gemini and uh, Libra and um, Aquarius, they all have this outer-worldly mind. They can make great decisions. Uh, they also have a great mind which helps them to communicate very easily. I know that my best friend is a Gemini and she can talk you into the grave. Literally, she's a talker. She has so many things that she's juggling with in her mind. And this is just the... It's normal for a Gemini to be like this because you're dual. You have two... It's like having two souls inside of you. And here, your two twins, uh, each of them has their own way to go about the situation that you're going to be faced with here in June. But we will see which uh, one of you will have the ultimate say in it. Usually when Two of Swords uh, comes into a reading, you need to split the reading into two parts. But here, uh, we don't know what what is the other option that you're pondering here. It's just you sitting here a bit with yourself to analyze the situation and see which way you're going to um act uh what decision you're gonna take uh also swords are messages so and truths and here after the two of swords uh the energy it's like it's retracting back it's um with the Two of Swords, it's like you ha you're having cre creative differences inside of yourself, like your twins have different opinions. But here the energy is becoming very, very focused because you're not uh, so bipolar. You're not um, fighting with yourself. It's like you, now when you take the decision, you're going to focus all your mental power, all your resources to implement the one thing that you have chosen. This is a new beginning. This is uh, news coming in. This is a proposal. This is um, truth, a hard truth coming, cutting to the heart of the matter. And this may be you or this may be someone in your life. You need to figure out how it applies for your particular situation. But someone here, it's like they've been indecisive and now uh, the truth is being revealed. They're moving forward uh, swiftly so with the sword that they have, with uh, argument, with 
uh, news, as I said. And this may be a new beginning in regards to Three of Pentacles over here. Uh, Three of Pentacles talks about cooperation, working together with no another on um, on the foundations of things, uh, teaching others how to do certain things. So uh, whatever uh, your truth or the news that you're delivering here, I think it's in regards to some sort of a cooperation, some sort of uh, activity or a situation or a relationship that um, is about foundation, is about prosperity, is about... Um, building some sort of a stability but through cooperation through working with another and here uh, you have this other person the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles she is very um unconditionally loving with the green here and her dress uh, she's a very abundant person. She may be financially stable. Uh, she also has the seed of her soul that she wants to put to the ground and grow with another person. So she is willing to cooperate. She is willing to build a foundation. But she is the one who can hold a lot of grudges and she is a very receptive type of energy. So if you waste her time or you make her move, or you take her out from her uh, beautiful, feminine, unconditionally loving position, it's not gonna work, okay? Uh, this may be you, or this may be um, another person in your life. And pentacles usually talk about uh, the earth realm. Uh, you may have... Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your in your life. Or you may be embodying this in the month of June if you're in a receptive mood and you want to put your seed to the ground. You have a lot of ideas about how to cooperate with others to create beautiful love relationships. Um, this is more of a motherly archetype here because you can see um the dog is sitting here at her feet and these uh, children also are sitting <clears throat> at the feet of this mentor so it's like this person uh they embody some sort of a motherly archetype uh towards you so uh, they're very nurturing and giving and uh, wise and Towards this uh, Queen of Pentacles, here comes someone that uh, was a bit indecisive whether to do or not do something, but here it's coming in fast. It's coming in fast. Uh, for some of my Gemini, you may get an engagement proposal or um, some sort of a creative project that involves this uh, building together here on the foundations. It may come to you. Um, yeah. But after the Queen of Pentacles, here comes the Strength card. So it's either you needing to manifest a lot of strength to work with this person, or this person needs to manifest a lot of strength to come together with you. This is very... Uh, an energy that is bold and daring here. This is... Uh, the uh, the card of Leo. And in classical tarot, you have a girl that is um, either opening or closing the lion's mouth, and you need a lot of bravery to do that. Here we can see her being all uh, naked, also riding the lion. So it's either this queen of uh, pentacles that needs to take uh, the reins of her life, uh, in her hands to meet you halfway or you need a lot of strength to make her commit to this project here she may be willing to but you need to do more than just propose to her you really need to mean the things that you are saying the things that come out of your mouth or the things that come towards you from another's mouth they really need to mean it have a lot of strength to build on this, to make this happen. 
because the Queen of Pentacles talks about a person that is very outgiving of their love and they don't have boundaries. They don't have strong boundaries and other people can take advantage of them. And the only thing that the Queen of Pentacles can do is hold up grudges and that's it. But here, after the Strength card, you have uh, Four of Wands. You have the Four of Wands here. It talks about two people coming together, two equals, two long-lost friends, two long-lost souls throughout uh, this time and space uh, plane that we're um, on here uh, on Earth. Um, this is finally meeting each other, being together, um, tying your bonds together because you actually want uh, to love each other, to cooperate, to work on a project together. Equals, okay? Equals. <clears throat> For some uh, of my Gemini, this can also be talking about uh, you being very outgiving with your love and finally uh, getting the strength needed to put up some boundaries just for some of you. But for others of you, this is a celebration here. When you're finally being able to meet with your equal, with maybe your soulmate or your twin flame. But this is a coming together of some sort. This is a celebration. Uh, this is also a card about marriage. So, whatever is happening here is very beautiful for the month of June. <sighs> so, I can't wait to meet with you, Gemini, and celebrate together. I'm happy for you for whatever type of uh, celebration you're having here uh, in the month of June. And it's a very hard-earned uh, celebration. 